You guys see how low women think of us? You guys see how low and pathetic we look? Hi guys, man. Welcome to a new video, man. Guys, I want to react to this video. But before we get started, you know how we get started, guys. Let's go, boys. Bullets, 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 go. Hi guys, man. I've been seeing some 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 crazy talk on the internet, right? I want I want to do something a little different, right? Let me let me react to what these 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 girls are saying on the internet, man. Woman says you must buy her and her friends drinks at the bar. So let's get into it. I want to hear I want to hear what she got to say. I want to hear what she got to say. Let me let me let me go back. I hear when a man be like, oh, I'm not obligated to buy you and your friends a drink if I'm trying to talk to you at a party or at a bar. Yes, you are. Yes, the f you are. You owe me a drink and you owe my friends a drink. Stop that broke shit. That's a broke man mentality. Only a broke man think like that. If you broke, just say that. If you broke, just say that. See, guys, this is the world we're living in in 2022. A man is you your your value is what can you bring for me? What can you do for us? Y'all are so pathetic. Y'all want this box so much. Y'all are needy and hungry so much that what are y'all willing to do? Hmm, what are men willing to do? How can we make these fools look more like suckers? What can we extract out of them? To get just to dangle the hopes of sleeping with us. What can we do? What can we do? What more? Now, I don't even want you to take me on a date. I want when you see me out in public, you got to treat me and my friends. Because we're so high value. We're such queens that you pathetic losers need to, you know, prove to us by buying us drinks. Why? Who are you? Who do you think you are? Right? Who do you think you are coming up to us? Our, our, you know, we are such wanted by so many men on this planet that that you think you have a chance with us. Come on, you peasant. Buy us some drinks. Show us. Show us you're worthy. Let's see. A man that's getting money don't care about buying a few beautiful female a drink. And that's pause, guys. I want you guys to understand something about true high value men see you guys don't understand how much men trick right but money does not equate a true high value man see a lot of women you know they they dress up they put their push-up bra on they go out with their best friends and they're encountering men with money who are tricks men with money who are not high value high value men do mind if they spend money on you. Why? How can you be a high value man? Explain this to me, sweetheart. You want a man that is up here to, first of all, be at a bar and willing to buy drinks for several women he doesn't even know. A man that's getting to that bag, she said. A man that's getting to that bag. So women are now equating every single man that makes money as, oh, this is how you guys should act. Oh, I know I've been, I've, I've been, you know, we're encountering some, some suckers and some, and some tricks, but all oh, you guys should act like this. Nah, baby. They, they got men with money and they got men who are just tricks, right? If you was a simp before you made money, you're going to be an even bigger simp. See what these girls are, are, are encountering are men who are simps who became men with money. They're just bigger simps. You can't expect a true high value male to act like that. And then the thing is, when she does meet a high value guy, she's not gonna know how to keep him because you're putting the same standards this simp put on you with this high value man. And he has self-respect. It ain't gonna work, right? Guys, there's a lot, there are a lot of men who are willing to trick, a lot of men who are willing to blow that bag just to get some. These guys are our biggest enemy. We, we, we complain about women. Oh, women this, women this, guys, but we are fighting a war where our own kind is part of the enemy. You guys are worrying about female nature, female nature, female nature. Listen here, there are a lot of guys who are making it just as hard for us men, just as much as women. It's not just women making it hard for us. 
right? Women are just taking, they're just playing the game. They're just, they're just taking what we give them. It's these guys who are, hey, oh, sweetheart, I see you and your friends. Oh, yeah, you want a drink? How many drinks y'all want? Shot, 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 shot. Pathetic. And then when a true high value male comes along, a guy who might be making a little money and he's not willing to do that, a lot of these girls will look past him because he doesn't fall into the category of a guy who's willing to spend. But nine times out of 10, the guy who's willing to spend is never gonna be the guy that she truly respects. Principle, that's not attractive, stop it. If you don't have enough money to buy me and my friend a drink and you see I'm with my friends, just wait till I go to the bathroom or when I'm leaving and, I, and I'm and I'm gonna respect that more. It's not attractive that you don't want to buy me and my friend a drink. Just wait till I go to the bathroom. I'm going to respect that more. You guys see how low women think of us? You guys see how low and pathetic we look? Wait till I go to the bathroom before you guys buy me a drink. Wait, just wait. You so hush loser. I don't want to be seen with you around other people. Just, you know, come talk to me where nobody else can see that you're talking to me. I'm such a queen. I'm such highness that, oh, you peasant, you peasant, come you can only talk to me when I'm close, you know, far away from everybody as much as possible. Who are you? How dare you come up to me in front of my friends and try to, you know, talk to me without buying me a drink, you peasant? Cause you got morals now. And now y'all don't got no morals. How the hell are you gonna come to a group of females only buying me a drink? You trying to disrespect me in front of my friends? I'ma curve you, I'ma take the drink and then curve you. I'ma take the drink and then curve you. You trying to disrespect me in front of my friends. Buying her a drink, guys. Introducing yourself and only buying her a drink. As bad as it is to only buy her a drink, it's disrespectful that you didn't buy her and her friends a drink because it makes her look bad. A girl you don't even know. Guys, this is as crazy as it sounds. This is how a lot of women, I don't know if this is a joke or if it's scripted or not, but you guys will be surprised how many women think like this. Oh, you gotta buy all of us a drink. It's our own kind that's making us, making our own lives harder. They, the, the dudes are making it harder. It, guys, think about it. There has to be had, there must have been a couple of dudes or many guys who are willing to do this BS for her to think is okay. If no man did this, would she even come on here talking crazy? Would she come on here and, and be speaking this blasphemy? Who are you to be spending money on just me? Oh, so wait, 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 wait. I got a question for you, sweetheart. So, when he gets your number and, you know, he tries to smash you, do your friends come along with that? Is it a package deal? Is it like I pay for the drinks and then all y'all come home with me? Or is it I pay for the drinks and I only get you? So wait, I got to pay for the drinks. I got to spend my money on not only you, but I got to spend my money on your friends too for some pre-owned box of just yours. Okay, I understand all of y'all might have some pre-owned box. But, you know, am I going to get the pre-owned box of everybody? Or is it just the pre-owned box of you? See, guys, there are quality women out there that don't think like this. There are quality women that don't require you to, to be a sim. Because I'm telling you guys, there are women who won't even kind of, they won't even play this game. There are women who, they want a man's man. This is no, not a woman that wants a man's man. She wants a B word. She wants a sucker. She wants a punk. She wants a dude she can walk all over. That's that's the whole dynamic of this whole thing. Hey, I want you to come to me acting like a b so I can control you. All and off real. I don't want you to be no masculine man that, that that's gonna put me in my place. No, 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 no. I want you to be a sucker. I want you to be a dude who's willing to bend over backwards for me from the jump. Where are you gonna do that at? Stop it. Stop it. It's a bar. You're supposed to be buying female drinks. If you don't got money, stay home. If you don't got money, stay home. That's what she ended it, guys. If you don't got money, stay home. If you if you ain't willing to pay pay for play, you might as well stay home. What's the difference? What's the difference 
of you just going to a strip club or just going to a, a brothel or whatever and just paying however much it costs to get a girl. It's like the modern women guys would just prefer you. Or why, as men, I'm trying to figure out why am I even telling guys to get on their purpose, get ripped, you know, be 10% body fat like me, and this is what they got to deal with in the day market. I should be telling y'all, hey, bro, hey, man, go to the little, go to your nearest strip club, you know, spend a little 100, 150, you know, get you, get you what you got to get that night and go home. Because these are the standards that men are having to face with. As crazy, you guys think this kind of stuff is a joke. You guys think it's, a, it's trolling, but this is what we're dealing with. These are, this is what social media, the modern age has put in women's mind. These, this is what we require from men. If he ain't buying you a Birkin, if he ain't flying you out, if he ain't blowing a bag, we're dealing with women who are basically selling themselves. Ooh, explain it to me. Sweetheart, how can you look at a man? How can you look at life and say, hey, I want a guy to take me seriously, but I require a guy to pay for my drinks, my friend drinks, but I also want a man's man. You want a man that is good looking, tall, handsome, and rich to do this for you. You're delusional. Guys, I got some reasons why if you guys are going to the club, if you guys are going out, you should never, ever buy women drinks. Number one, it automatically makes you look weak. It automatically makes you look like a guy who is here in hopes of getting some. Oh, I'm just here, you know, if I can spend enough money to find a girl who likes me for me, I'm, I'm happy. You automatically look weak. You automatically put yourself in a weaker position and alpha males do not put ourselves in weaker positions. Right? You're not going to take a weaker position. I know a lot of you guys are younger or even the older guys. When you're going out, if you're going out with your boys or you're going out alone, you, you, hey, we could talk. Hey, how's your night going, sweetheart? Are you from around here? Oh, okay. Let's, you know, you go dance with her a little bit. You know, I'm not buying you no drink. I don't want you to equate me or put me in the same category as these suckers because I know how women's brain work. The moment, the moment I start doing some sim stuff, any they, they are so cutthroat. Any moment you spend, any little signal you give her of you being a simp, now she puts you in that category. Now she's trying to take and extract and see how far she can go with you because you put yourself in a weaker position. I would much rather you go to the club and get rejected all night than you to be doing some sim stuff hoping to get hoping to get a chance number two it allows her to control dynamics see guys when you put yourself in a weaker position now the woman is going to lead everything now she knows where your interest stands now she knows exactly what you want oh he want this oh he see my he see my he see he see my chest up my makeup looking 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 nice I got this tight pants on, you know, my butt looking good. I know what he want. The mystery is gone. Now nah, she can control the whole dynamics. Okay, you want to talk to me? You want to get some of this? What you want to do for it? Oh, you want to go here after this? I don't know. I want to go to another restaurant after this. Why wouldn't she? You already let her control the dynamics. You know, you showed her that, hey, you don't value yourself. You don't, you're not willing to, you know, let her come to you. So, hey, let's, okay. And what do women do, guys, when they start leading? When you make a woman lead, what does that do? Now, she's in her masculine. Now, she's not naturally submissive. Now, she's not going to submit to you. Now, she's not going to be feminine. Because you allowed her to get there. You put her in her masculine by being a little bitch. You, you, you let this happen, right? Number three, allows her friends to have a say so in your interactions. So, a lot of you guys ask me, FedEx, if I go to a club, you know what I'm saying? I go here and I see a group, what do I do? You know, when you when you see a group of girls and you have one you want to talk to, go up to that, go up to the entire group, introduce yourself, 
tell them, hey, this, this, this is the best strategy for groups, guys. Go up to the group, like, hey, ladies, how you guys doing tonight? How you ladies, how you ladies doing tonight? Oh, we doing good. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, you guys from, you know, let's say you in Miami. You guys, you guys from Miami? Oh, no, I'm from here. I'm from y'all. Oh, okay, great. Hey, ladies, you mind, you guys mind if I speak to your friend for a second? Oh, okay, that's cool. What you just did right there was cut out all the cock blocking. Hey, I introduced myself to the whole group. I was polite. So when I asked you guys to talk to your friend, this is the this this is signaling. This is the end of our conversation. I, I, nothing else for us to talk about. But when you go up to the group and you want to be a sucker and you want to pay for all their drinks, no, they all have a say so in in what what's going to go on. You need to isolate the girl you want to talk to. First of all, by not being a simp and trying to buy her drinks, but you know, introducing yourself and trying to have a conversation with her. Don't look like a simp. Don't look like a sucker. But if you go, if you, if you, hey, you, hey, you get ladies want some shots, shot, 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 shot. Okay, here they go. Oh, you want to take her somewhere else? Oh uh, no, we want to go here. It's girls' night out. We don't want to go nowhere else. We like the club where we at. You need to you need to introduce yourself to the group and isolate the girl you want to talk to and you damn sure never not be buying them drinks because not all of them have a say so in what's going on number four men with options never buy drinks first think about the hot guy at the bar you guys have been to clubs you guys have been to bars think about that hot guy at the bar think about the guy that the women are sweating, the women are checking out. They just want him to notice them. You think he buying them drinks? They just want him to notice them. They're like, God damn, he hot, he fine. He walk in the club looking dapper, looking fresh, probably with his boys. The girl just want him to notice her. He in the club having a good time. He ain't worrying about the girls. He ain't having a good time with his boys or just enjoying the music by himself. He's letting the women come to him. And that's what makes him attractive. You will never see a true alpha male going to no damn club buying women drinks. You ain't gonna, it's not gonna happen. He, he, he's a sucker, he's a simp. He's trying to buy his way into some box. He's trying to favor, favor his way. Oh, my highness, I know I'm not worthy. I know I'm not hot enough. So here, here's some drinks. Hopefully I can get you warm enough, you know, to, to like me. Hopefully the drinks can give you some, some uh, uh, cloud girl goggles so I look more attractive because I'm so pathetic and ugly. I remember going to club, he with his boys, dapper. You know what I'm saying? Got the necklace on, clean shave, haircut. Him and his boys just enjoying their night out. They ain't sweating no chicks. They doing the same thing the girls do. And that's the guy that women are going to notice. That's the guy that women are going to be checking out. That's the guy that women are going to be whispering amongst themselves. Ooh, look at him. Ooh, look at them. Ooh, they looking good. Alpha males don't buy drinks first. Number five. You now have to be a dancing monkey to all the whole group. Oh yeah, little dancing monkey. Come prove yourself to us. Come show out. Come come do some tricks. This is what you get when you go to the club and you start buying drinks for women. Oh, come on, little dancing monkey. You know, we know you're pathetic. We know, we know you wanna prove yourself to us. What else, what other tricks you got? Can you do a backflip? Can you spin on a, on a stick? What can you do? Come on, dancing monkey. You want to buy all us drinks? What else? You got some jokes for us too? Now you got to be telling jokes all night. Now you got to be, now you got to be, hey, Mr. Dancing Monkey, come, come entertain us. You are our entertainment for the night. Come make us feel good. Oh yeah, we came to have fun, but you're more interesting. You're going to make our night even better. You're going to be the joke of the night. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to get back home. Girl, you remember that, that, that idiot? that was dancing for us, that was trying to prove himself to us, you the, you the joke of the night. Meanwhile, they hitting up Tyrone. Hey, baby, I'm going to be I'm gonna be leaving the club around 2.30. You up? Hey, baby, 
don't don't go to sleep. I need that tonight. Hey, baby. Uh, I'm kind of getting tired of the club. You want to come scoop me? She want to get stroked to sleep by the alpha male. He didn't even waste his time going to the club. Number six, guys. They'll leave you for drinks and go home and laugh at you. See, guys, women... <laughs> When women do these girls' night outs, in my sincere opinion, unless you are in a group with, with like you're you you're with your boys, right? A lot of these girls are just looking for some free attention. If it's one or two, if it's like a girl, you know, a group of two or three, they you know they're probably willing to talk to some guys, meet some guys, have fun, dance. But if you if you notice these big old groups, these crazy big groups with like five, six, seven girls, you, you're going to have a hard time, you know what I'm saying, separating them or isolating the girl you really want and taking her home. Because I know that's what you guys want. You want to go up to this group, you want to be magic, man, seduce this one girl and take her home. It's going to be very, very unlikely. You Because they came here to have fun and you're going to always have that one ugly friend that, that nobody's giving her no play, so she wants to ruin the night for everybody. And it's happened to me several times. I have went up to a group of girls, and the girl I was talking to was interested in feeling me, but the, the one, you know, hippopotamus over there, she wants to ruin it because nobody's talking to her, right? So, hey, you're gonna go to the club, you're gonna have fun with your boys, you're gonna be in the moment, right? <laughs> If you see if you see girls you like, go up to the group, introduce yourself, try to talk to the girl. Don't be the dancing monkey. Don't be the guy that's gonna get there and then they they laughing and and hey dancing monkey, do us do a, do a, do a trick for us. Hoo hoo ha ha hoo hoo ha ha come dance for us. Don't be that guy, right? You wanna be you want you want women to be wondering and be curious about you. What is it about this dude, man? What is it about him? Right, and you're gonna meet you. You can meet some some decent chicks, guys. They got some girls who are quality chicks, who their friends are just dragging them out because they don't really go out that much. Right, so they might be in a group of two or three. You know, this is one quiet one. She doesn't really go out that much. Go and approach her. Go talk to the group and talk to her. That's the girl you're looking for. This kind of girl right here that wants you to buy her and her friends drinks, she just want to, she looks at men as toys. What can I get from men? What can I, what can, even if, even if this might be a joke, I'm telling you guys, there are a lot of women who think like this. What, what, how can men prove themselves to me? What can I get out of these guys? For them to, I want them to prove themselves to me. What, what more can you do? You gonna buy me a Rolex too? You want this box? How huh? come? What you gonna do for it? Stay away from these get there. Stay away from these kind of girls, guys. If you're gonna go out to the club by yourself, go enjoy the music. Go to a spot you like. If you see a girl you're interested in, introduce yourself to her or the group and talk to her. If 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 they try to automatically, no, 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 no. just just move on, bro. If a girl talking about some, you gonna buy me a drink? Oh no, nah, have a good night. And that's it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys like this kind of style of video. Love you, boys.